Hey guys, my name is Seno and welcome back to episode 31 of the Hardcore Iron Man from Scratch series. Thank you all for joining me. Now in this episode we are going to continue pushing through the requirements for Plague's End, completing all the remaining quests, which is just within the light, but it is a rather tough quest, and starting to push through all those remaining skill requirements. We have 75 Agility, 75 Construction, 75 Dungeoneering, 75 Herb Lore, and 75 Prayer, and 75 Summoning to get through. Of course, we're not going to do all that in the one episode. But over the coming episodes, we will hopefully be ticking a lot of those off and at some point in the very near future, making our way into Elf City. So guys, just sit back, relax and enjoy and let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, well it is a new month for me and I thought I would start it off by doing my troll invasion and my god statues. Didn't get any levels from the god statues, but I mean, well, to be fair we're not even going to get a level from uh, the troll invasion, but we are going to throw the XP into herb lore and it's going to get us almost halfway to level 75, which of course is that requirement for Plague's End. So, I, you know, herb lore is probably one of the tougher ones for an Iron Man to get and I'm pretty surprised that it's going to be one of the first ones we're going to knock out. Now what I'm going to do now guys is actually run up to Anachronia and manage my base camp because I haven't really done this in a long time and as you can see we have a lot of resources up the top. So I'm thinking about upgrading our sleeping quarters because that is the last requirement for me to upgrade the town hall again. And of course with the new sleeping quarters we are going to uh, be able to get an extra 15 workers. So 30 workers in total it's going to make gathering resources a lot more efficient. Alright now that we've done that I think it's time to go and complete within the light. I think I did it. I think I did it. Alright. No, no, no. I think we're good. Holy shit. Thank God for that. Alright, guys. Well, that quest really wasn't as bad as I remember. I've done it three times now, and the first two times were a lot worse than, like, they really were terrible. It was a terrible experience, but um, not so bad this time. But there it is, within the light completed, 35k agility, 20k fletching, 20k range, and 20k woodcutting. Quite a lot of XP, and that 35k agility XP is going to be very helpful in getting me, uh, you know, pretty close to that 70 agility requirement. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that later, um, but for now, that's all the quests completed. As you can see there, the only requirements we have left for Plague's End are just skill requirements, which is very, very exciting. Alright guys, well I am down here, um, I'm not actually sure where or like what this place is called, but I'm down here at these like bike things. If you don't know uh, what they are, you can basically just sort of AFK on them and you get some pretty decent agility XP, but you have to be on the bike that has the little purple circle under it, otherwise the XP is pretty trash. So you've got to pay attention to that, but it is some pretty good AFK relaxed agility XP. You get around 40k an hour if you pay attention. Um, and this is probably going to be the way that I get 75 agility, but at the moment I'm only going for 70 because um, we're 69 at the moment, so we're going to get level 70 agility and that's going to allow us to gather dragon bones much more efficiently because we can access that uh, the Tavoli dungeon shortcut to the blue dragons. It's going to make collecting dragon bones for our 75 prayer grind much, much more efficient. So we're going to get level 70 agility and then we, we might collect some dragon bones for a bit. We'll see how we go. Alright guys, well probably about 40 minutes later I'd say we're coming up on level 70 agility. This is a really nice way to train. This is definitely going to be the way I get 75 agility. I'm not running around an agility course at all. No, but nevertheless, there is the level if we just see what we unlocked. The Tavoli Dungeon Pipe Squeeze Shortcut is the one that's going to allow us to collect dragon bones at a much more efficient rate, so I am very happy about that. Okay guys, well something that I totally forgot about, I totally forgot this even existed, um, was another monthly that I've kind of neglected a little bit, and that is the, uh, like the giant oyster monthly where you, you know, collect it and feed it again, you get some fishing XP and some farming XP, all that good stuff. So we're going to go and do that now. Um, let's see if we get anything special from, from the loot. Uh, so we're just going to go and dive down here and I will be right back with our third age. Alright, now because I'm super prepared and I'm really good at the game, I did not bring my ring of wealth. So we're just going to check it right away and holy fuck, that is actually trash. That's actually probably one of the worst rewards I've ever gotten. Alright, well, um, I think we're done here. I'm not going to get a fishing level or a farming level, so I will see you back with the next clip, which I think is actually going to be the circus, because I have yet to do my circus this week, and we are very close to a magic level, so I will see you there. 
All right, so we are only like four and a half K off the magic level. So this should take no time at all. And this should be the level coming in right there, 78 magic. I'm surprised we actually managed to pick it up at the circus. Doesn't really happen a lot these days, but there you go. One of the requirements for River of Blood. Um, the vampire quest line, we are up to, you know, the, the, like the late game quests in the uh, vampire quest series. And they are very hard and very dangerous for hardcores. Mainly because a lot of the bosses that you fight in those quests do usually have like a one hit kill mechanic that you've got to watch out for. So they are very threatening for people like me. So we probably won't be doing that uh, for, a, for a decent while at least, yeah. Yo, I just realized something, guys. Let's see, what does it say in the chat? Yeah, dude, I can't believe I missed this. I, I even thought about it, like, uh, just before I recorded, and I still forgot to mention it. But we actually, not only did we get a combat level from that magic level, but we also reached 1900 total level milestone. So two big things coming out of that level that I completely forgot to mention. So good YouTuber. Alright guys, so I'm going to come at you with a little bit of maths at the moment. So, to get level 75 prayer, we need 644,000 prayer XP. Now, as a rough sort of like estimate, I'm just going to round it down just so it's a little bit simpler. But uh, at the Gilded Altar, every Dragon Bone gives 250 XP. I think it's 252, but as I said, we're just going to round it down for simplicity's sake. So, of course, 200... Sorry, 2,000 Dragon Bones would be 500k prayer XP. 2,500 Dragon Bones would be 625,000 XP. So, for, you know, just for simplicity's sakes, we are going to be collecting 2,500 Dragon Bones. That's the goal that we're going to go for. Not in one episode, just over a period of time. Um, but I thought I would time how long it takes me to complete one, one trip. Um, and then that way we can sort of get a rough estimate of how long it's going to take me. Alright guys, now before I um, time how long it's going to take me, I just wanted to do a quick test. So obviously I can wear my anti-dragon shield and a single crossbow and get kills fairly effectively, but I was curious as to, you know, to figure out whether if I dual wielded my crossbows, obviously that's going to speed up my DPS and kills per hour. Um, but obviously I will be, like, I won't be immune to dragon fire, but will a single dose of just regular anti-fire provide the same protection as a anti-dragon shield? Um, if that's the case, then that means I can dual wield my crossbows and that's just going to speed this up immensely. Okay, so yeah, when I get hit with the dragon fire with the regular anti-fire potion uh, active, they only hit for about four to 500, which isn't as bad as I thought. So I think I will just drop the anti-dragon uh, shield. It's just going to speed it up a lot. Okay, so now I've got my timer here. As you can see, we're going to see how long it takes me to collect a full inventory and run back. And that'll be a full trip. Let's see how long it takes me. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're coming in on the end of the first full trip. Uh, every time we run back to the bank, we do collect 25 dragon bones. Um, and I'll, I'll get more efficient, you know, I'll find more efficient ways to run back and restore my prayer and how much food I need to bring. But if we pause the timer... Five minutes, 20 seconds. Let's just let's just refill our uh, anti-fire for a second before we die. Uh, so five minutes, 20 seconds. Um, let's lowball it and just say five and a half minutes per trip. Um, all right, I've got to go and do a little bit of mental maths, and I'll come back. We uh, come back with the numbers. All right, guys. So with the maths kind of partially figured out. Um, every 11 minutes I can, no sorry, every 22 minutes I can collect 100 dragon bones. That means every 4 minutes, 200 dragon bones. Every 66 minutes, 300 dragon bones. So, let's just say like 280 dragon bones per hour, which means that if we divide 2,500 by the 280 per hour, that means that it's going to take roughly 9 hours to, uh, to collect all these dragon bones, which it's a while, but it's not as bad as I thought. Alright guys, we've just been down here with the Blue Dragons, obviously. We've been down here for maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe half an hour or so, and we were pretty close to a constitution level. So here it is, level 81. Unfortunately, it doesn't get us a combat level or anything, but of course it does make us that little bit harder to kill, which is always great. And we actually did get a Dungeoneering Daily Challenge. Now, if you don't know, every time I get a Dungeoneering Daily, I always extend it because, you know, they are few and far in between and they are pretty overpowered. I've pretty much gotten level 70 Dungeoneering strictly from 
uh, dungeoneering daily, so always extend them when you get them. And we did pick up a level 100k XP, brings us up to 71 dungeoneering, so look, you know, an another few daily challenges and we'll be at 75 for sure. Alright guys, so I thought I would actually just come down here and collect my miscellanea, or sorry, my kingdom. Um, because as you can see it's been 11 weeks and 3 days, uh, but our approval rating is at 25% So what I'm gonna go do is fill up the coffers got about 800k here Not a lot, but I don't really have a lot of money at the moment um, And then we're gonna go get 100% approval and we'll collect it and see what we get Alright, well I've been uh, back at it, doing my Jack of Trades daily runs, I totally forgot I even had this aura, but uh, for the last few days I have been doing it, and um, well, look here we are, we managed to actually progress enough and pick up level 75 herb lore, pretty much strictly from um, Troll Invasion and our Jack of Trades, and there it is, level 75 herb lore, um, one of the requirements of Plague's End, fuck yeah. Alright guys, well, I'm just down here cutting some oak logs because on top of needing to collect a lot of dragon bones for the 75 prayer, we do need to collect a decent amount of oak logs to turn into oak planks to get 75 construction. So those are two little grinds that I'll be doing in the background, you know, just uh, when I've got some free time, maybe come AFK the, uh, the oak trees or, you know, collect uh, some dragon bones if I'm a little bit more active in the game. But here we go. Look, I'll just quickly show you. We've got about one and a half thousand oak logs and we're just sitting exactly just under 200 uh, dragon bones. So, it, like, we'll be working on those in the background. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I would go and train a little bit of Slayer, obviously, because we need 75 summoning as well. So we're going to have to collect those charms sooner or later. So I'm going to go, uh, sorry, I'm going to go <laughs> and do some more Slayer. And also in the background, I will be working towards the Charming Imp as well, because of course we need 75 Dungeoneering. So a lot of little mini grinds going on in the background. So uh, yeah, let's, let's go and work on that. All right, guys, well, I thought I'd actually just hang back and quickly pick up a woodcutting level because we were very close. And it is a bit of a milestone level as well. It is actually level 80. So uh, another level 80 skill on the account doesn't really unlock a whole lot, although it does. It is one of the requirements for the light within, apparently. So that's a very important quest, but it is also very much an end game quest. We will not be completing that for a long time. All right, yeah, but now I'm going to go do some Slayer and maybe if we get lucky, we might be able to pick up some clues because I'm feeling like doing some clues girls today. So we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, let's go complete. What's it? What's our task? I think it's greater demons. So I'll see you there. All right, guys. So I did. Um, like I have been doing some Slayer. Um, off, like off screen or whatever you want to call it. Um, I I actually went out and I did I did all the Slayer on mobile on RS mobile. So I didn't really have a way to record it. Uh, but we did pick up a couple of hards and an elite clue. So I think we'll go and do this. Um. If I do that in the future where I need to play on mobile for some reason, I get, I'll try and figure out a way to maybe record it or something. But as of right now, I don't know how to record on a mobile device. Because as far as I know, Android doesn't have like a built-in recording um, like program. So uh, anyway, we will we will go and we'll do some... some uh, uh, mm, yes. Alright guys, well, because I'm really good at what I do, I totally forgot to turn my microphone on when these clips were recorded, but this is just the Elite. Uh, actually wasn't too bad, I mean, nothing really special, but we did get a good stack of mahogany planks, and if we keep doing clue scrolls, if, if I, I do run over to the bank here and I'll show you in a minute, but our mahogany planks, like, we haven't actually made any. These are all from clue scrolls, so if we keep doing them, we might be able to knock out a good chunk of construction XP just strictly from mahogany planks from clue scrolls, and this is the hard clue as well. I did have two, but I had to drop one because I couldn't complete it, and we got a nice stack of mahogany planks again, but because I'm an absolute idiot, I decided to re-roll it. So we threw all that construction XP out and replaced it with pretty much nothing, a couple of alcohols and some nice runes. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for episode 31 of the Hardcore Iron Man from Scratch series. I hope you all enjoyed. Now guys, if you want to stay up to date with the series and everything that I upload, I do upload videos other than RuneScape as well. So if you want to stay up to date, then make sure you do subscribe and of course leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. I've also got links to my socials down in the description, my Twitch and my Discord if you want to join the Discord server. But guys, with all that out of the way, my name is Sano. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. See you guys.